Hi, buddies and girls. Welcome back. We are here for another video, and today we are talking about my top five high-end concealers. Yes, I just talked about my drugstore. I think I'm going to break these up because, y'all, I have my favorites of the drugstore, and I also have high-end, and we love options on this channel. Okay. So I wanted to come, and concealers are one of my favorite things to buy. Foundations, concealers, and bronzers, and highlighters, and lipsticks. I have a hierarchy. Can I have a hierarchy? Well, let's get straight into this video. And the elephant in the room, I absolutely love my shirt. It says, I, wait, it says, fairies are real, my unicorn told me. I love this. I picked this up from Macy's, about six bucks, but love this. We are going to come with my top five, like, fashion faves and stuff like that. But let's get straight into this video. I got my top five here, and we're going to go from the OG down to the most recent. MAC Pro Longwear. Yes, it will forever be a love of mine. Yes, it will hold true to my heart. Can you tell from how much I've used? I absolutely love this concealer. It is high coverage. I get like zero to no creasing with this and this is a stay all long all day. This one is in NC42, but I do have NC45. This is a found, this is a foundation. I can use this as a foundation, as a matter of fact, and I have because I am NC42. This is like my same shade. So a lot of times if I just want coverage, no highlight, this is the shade that I will go for, but this will forever be in my stash. I love MAC uh, Pro Long Wear Concealer. It is amazing. This is what I would use on my clients. I know that it's tried and true and it's going to stay all day. And I don't know if you have dry under eye, I still like this. I feel like if you use a good eye cream, which is what I use with concealers anyway, this is an amazing concealer and I won't be without it. I will always have a backup. Okay, I actually did a review on this and this looks so amazing. I feel like this is one of the most under uh, underrated concealers and this is the Lorac Perfection Concealer. It's oil free, paraben free, fragrance free. I love that. And you, sometimes you need to an oil free, especially if you're oily. This is one that you'll want to go to. I have it in medium. It does not have the shade on here, but I know that it was medium because I picked it up. Um, I highly recommend or Lorac complexion products. I really do enjoy this. I love their eye primer. I have fallen in love with one of their blushes and I absolutely love their alter ego lip glosses, but that's beside the point. I just went into a Lorac obsession right now, but I absolutely love this. I do have a video. It's kind of old, but you at least you can see the coverage. I will link it in this video, but I really do love this concealer and I find myself reaching for it. And I've used a lot of this and it looks like I have not hit a dent in it, but I really do love this. Okay, so let's talk about this one. This is the OG. This is the Ace. This is one I use on my clients all the time. And whether you're oily, dry combination, this is a product that I really do love. I love the fact that it is so hydrating. What I'm talking about is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is the Invisible Cover Concealer. I love it because I've done a full review and swatches with this one. I think this is the only concealer that I've gone that far and loved a product where I wanted to show you guys the whole line. I absolutely love this. I think I want to do that even more, but sometimes I'm not able to do that. Now I am a freelance makeup artist. So some of these things do get sent to me, but I'm telling y'all, I would not come on camera and tell you how fabulous this is if I didn't love it. It is, this is in Y41, but I love that they actually have which ones give you a yellow undertone and which ones give you a rose undertone because the pink undertones are going to be better for color correcting. And these, the yellow are going to be great for brightening. So I love Makeup Forever is always on purpose and on point when they come with a product. And I absolutely love this. There are very, I can't even think of Makeup Forever products that I don't like. And I feel like Makeup Forever really kills the game in the makeup industry when it comes to products that are tried and true. This is a hydrating one. And I like the fact that, you know, some, some concealers you have to work really fast to actually put it in and apply it onto the skin. This is not the case with this one. You can actually come and go and do some other things on your face or do some things, let it sit for a minute and then go in, which is what I recommend with this product anyway, but it is high coverage and it's super, super lightweight and it's just amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's probably my number one. It ain't no problem. This is like my number one concealer. Like if all of the other ones went away, this one would give everything to me. Okay. 
y'all this one took a minute for me to really love because number one the shade range is kind of crazy but once you find your right shade lord have mercy this is amazing i'm talking about the urban decay naked skin now i love their color correctors like they are bomb and i love this one and the color correcting the peach one together is perfection but i have medium dark warm i do want to pick up another one of this shade i this is one that i would still repurchase now i know that the hd is like this one but it's something about the naked skin that i just really really like I feel like it's the thinnest, but it is the, it's very high coverage at the same time. It's really crazy. If you want a naked skin type of look under your eyes, this one would be great for a mature skin just because it's going to give you everything and a bag of chips. And I really love this. I really do like this. I feel like this one would be a multi-purpose type of product. And I love the shade ranges. Urban Decay does really well with coming with representing for women of color so i really do love that fact and i really love it final favorite and i know that i love this because i got it in two shades this is in medium and the other one is in tan now the tan i love because i can use that and that's when i don't want to do too much highlighting but this is in medium i really do love the shape tape by tarte it is amazing it is y'all didn't see a review because there are so many reviews and it's hyped up and for good reason here on YouTube, but I really do like it. A lot of people say if you have dry under eye, you may not like it. I just feel like you have to use less of it and use a good eye cream. I highly recommend using a good eye cream anyway. So if pe when people tell me that they have dry under eye and this is too drying, I feel like maybe it might be due to not having a really great, great eye cream, but that's just me. That's my opinion, but I really do enjoy this. I have a backup of this and that's how I know that I love it. When I have a backup, I love the product. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see beautiful you in the next top five. Bye loveys.